Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Aslan Noble and welcome to my channel. Today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024, 119, 120am. <clears throat> I'm not taking a break from Vehicle Combat Let's Plays. There's just a little side project that I want to work on. Um, the game is called Coldcept. Some people call it Coldcept. Uh, I think it's pronounced Coldcept. But, hey, you know, whatever. As long as you like the game, or as long as you play it, or <coughs> enjoy it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of this game. Uh, or a pretty big enthusiast of this game, because I'm not too good at the game. I'm good enough to. I think beat the game, I believe. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I had this game a long time ago, like a few years ago. The, the PS2 version, well, well, this game right here, two versions of this game, two or three, two versions of the 360 version, or two copies, and two or three copies of the 3DS version. But then, for some reason, because I'm crazy. I decided to get rid of all of my concept games, but obviously now that's changed. I've re-purchased them. I bought two copies of the PS2 version, two copies of the 360 version, and two copies of the one copy of the 3DS version. And I plan on getting I plan on getting another copy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm not too good at the game. But I think I can beat the game. I, I think I've beat the game before. Because I remember, I specifically... I remember unlocking Zenith and Nazarin. Which are two special characters. They're two unlockable characters. So you have to do something... You have to do something aside from play the story. To beat those characters. To, to obtain those characters. I believe, you have, I believe you have to beat the game. I'm not quite sure. But I've had them before. So. I'm not quite sure if I beat this game or not. <coughs> it doesn't matter. But I will be attempting to let's play this game. As well as Codecept Saga for the PS2. Which came out. Oh, sorry. For the Codecept Saga for the Xbox 360. Which came out after this game. I will not be attempting to let's play Codecept Revolt for the 3DS. Because I don't have a capture device for my 3DS. If I ever get one, that'll change. Um, what else is there? Uh, let's see. The there's another version of this game in Japanese. It's on the DS. <clears throat> I think there's a way to play it. I mean, I'm sure if you emulate it or something, you could probably play it on on computer or PC. So there's that one, and I think the original one came out for, I believe it was Dreamcast, either Dreamcast or one of the, one of the Sega uh, systems, and I don't know if that game ever received an English version or not, so, but again, I do suck at the game, but I'm more of an, I'm more of an enthusiast, I'm a fan and also an enthusiast, just not someone that's good at the game. <coughs> Although I'm good enough to eventually outwit the computer. So, I also plan on having a tournament just between the AI. Every now and then I'll jump in. Um, every Friday or whenever. I'll just add those to my multiplayer Friday playlist. Or I may give them their own playlist. And... I plan on having a. I want to do another series of videos where I attempt to obtain and also try to find out how to unlock <coughs> most of the medals in the game. Well, I'd say about half the medals in the game. Not all of them. If I was better at the game, then yeah. So. Hmm. 
So yeah, I have tournaments, a section where I try to get medals for the game, and I don't know. I can't. I can't think of all of it. <laughs> so, without further delay, let's get started. <clears throat> I already deleted my data for the game. I just now, a few, a few days ago, decided to come back and uh, play this game. So, I'm also a part of the Coldcept Discord. So, you could probably find me on there under the name Roland. So, yeah, without any any more delays, let's let's get started. My capture card may cut off because it does this thing to where when the resolution output changes too drastically, it'll just stop recording. So let's see what happens. in destruction as written by Kaldra absolute goddess the owner of the book will inherit her powers the scepters warriors who control concept continue their warring So it begins. I always pick the knight. Maybe I'll pick a. That's okay. I'll pick a this guy, Roland. That's my name. When, uh, <coughs> Discord. Ooh, let's see here. Roland. I'm not putting my whole name from the Discord. Maybe, maybe. It is Roland. I don't know my own name. How do I get there? Here we go. Roland 
7207. Let's put that. Change. 7207. There we go. One thing that's really handy about this game is it has the whole manual right here. This this manual is actually I'd say it's just as in depth, just as in depth as uh, as the game manual. Stand a chance against me. Leave now for your own good. If I were to be defeated by him, the whole universe would be destroyed. Please. Making laps and returning to the castle will give you magic power, however. Using creatures and capitalizing and capturing territories will increase your magic total. Now the methods. After drawing a card, press up on the directional buttons and roll the dice to move. Okay, for now, roll the dice and we'll meet you again. We'll meet again. Alright, let's see here. There we go. So 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of talking here. This mission I'm gonna focus on the greens and the reds, maybe the blues. I wanna try to get something that's close to the uh that's near the starting point. I'll go here. This land is not yet owned by anyone. If you summon a creature, you can make this your own territory. Using a creature with high HP will better defend your territory. Furthermore, if the creature element, uh, fire, water, earth, or wind, matches the land element, a land effect, a land effect HP plus 10 will be added and will make the creature stronger. Press down on the directional buttons to e to enter creature mode. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to talk and give a little bit of a, uh, I guess, lore or wh whatever you want to call it. I think um, in the Cold Sub Universe, G. Oh, sorry. You can use spells to restrict opponents or. To to help yourself. When you have spell cards, give it a try. Yeah, so in the... Yeah, nothing here. I guess I'll use the rat right here. Don't get all giddy about grief. Yeah, so in the close-up universe, G refers to your mana. It's not necessarily money. The select button will open to help. Will open the help menu window. If there's anything you don't understand, try using it. R1 button will open the information window. If there's information you want, you can view it whenever you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, because in the even in the manga, money's never mentioned. They're always talking about magic power. Or G. Aim for the castle. Beautiful. I put one right here. Aim for the castle. I'll put something right here. Uh, I think I think so. <clears throat> and also, this first match, you don't really know exactly what's in your hand until you actually play it. So it's kind of a surprise. Oh, he has a chain. Chains are the name of the game, really. Leveling up territories will increase the land value and the toll price. Yeah, chains and leveling up your chains. That's the name of the game, really. You've got a reward. Uh, Good luck to your next journey. When, when land on a fort or castle, you can use the territory command over the entire map. Leveling up territories will increase the land value and toll price. If the creature element matches the land element, the land effect will also be boosted. Do note, however, that leveling up requires a good amount of magic. Please, select the panel labeled Territory. Hmm. I want to level this one up first. <coughs> because you can level up any territory if you land here or if you land directly on castle or one of the checkpoints but you can also level up territory by passing any character any land that you own so I'm going to level him up first and since I'm going to pass since I'm going to pass the dwarf I'll level him up when I pass him not the dwarf but uh my other territory mana But yeah, leveling up is just yeah, um, matching 
creatures with their correct element. That's like the most basic strategy. You can do some pretty nasty things. Like you can, uh, as, as long as you have the proper defense and, and the proper items, you can put characters anywhere. Just about, just keep it. You know, try to try to get a chain going. And make sure you have de uh, decent defense items. Perfect. A chain of two. Obtain as many lands with the same element as you can. I will try. One. There he goes. Now he has the two chain. I'll use this right here. I know it gives you money. I forgot. I'm not exactly sure what this does. Gains number. Select the scepter gains lap number times 50G. So I'm on lap, I guess, one. I've only cleared. I've only crossed. Uh, I've only passed the castle once. But I'll take it. Mana. 100G. So let's see here. Also, if you press L1 once, the first time it shows you the HP of every character on on the screen. Press it again, L1, it shows you their strength level. This is handy for if you wanna if you wanna get a little bit of information on some territory before you land there. You can also just use triangle and select it as well and see. So, since I've passed, if you level up your land using the territory command, your total price and land value will increase. If the creature element matches the land element, the land effect will also be boosted. Do note, however, that leveling up requires a good amount of magic. Press down on the directional buttons to enter command mode. You've said that already. So I'm going to use this character right here, this piece of land, to harass Reverend's uh, territory to try to break one of his chains. Because the, depending on the level of your territory and how many chains you have, or both, that determines how much gold you will get when you... Uh, past checkpoints and past the uh, the home base or the main castle. So I want to level him up real quick. And in my next turn I'll use this I'll in my next turn since I'll be, since, since I'll be passing this territory that I own, I'll use him to attack this creature right here. And he's good because this character owned by River he neutralizes any creature with HP of 40 well my rat only has 10 HP so he can't neutralize it unless he has uh, unless he has armor and I can't really do any damage either unless I have a weapon so I might not want to attack this fairy but we'll see we'll see maybe I'll, maybe I'll draw a weapon card later on Level three. You've got a reward. And when I first played this game. <coughs> Good luck to your next journey. Leveling up territories will increase the land value and total price. You said that already, Golgan. See something else. When I first played this game, those two numbers by my name really confused me. The bottom number is like your bank. Which you have, you know, like money you can't touch. That number, see how this is gold 5000 G? That number is what you need to, the bottom number is what you need to increase, like your bank or whatever. You need to increase that to the gold, which is 5000. The top number is what you have to spend. <coughs> However, if you go in debt, if you land on some territory and you can't pay it with your with your spend money or whatever you want to call it then it starts coming out of your bottom uh, G see like this right here value 480 
if I can't pay it with the top number, they'll take it out of the top number and the bottom number. So, just something to keep in mind. I know I'm terrible at explaining things, but oh well. I'm all, I'm all you got. And I still haven't drawn a weapon card, so I won't be attacking. I probably will attack anyway. Mm. No, I, I won't attack anything. Aim for the beautiful, castle. beautiful, beautiful. So I'll level up. Uh, Rivern, he's not too tough. Discard your card. But he's kind of interesting because uh, from target enemy scepter's from target enemy scepter's hand, destroy a card other than a creature card. I'll use that. Shatter. Let's see what he has. Yeah, you don't need all this armor. Break. Yeah, Reverend's interesting. <clears throat> it's not too it's not too hard. But uh I like it because you have just passed your territory. The land with the blinking outline is your territory. You can use the territory command on these territories. Leveling up territories will increase the land value and the toll price. If the creature element matches the land element, the land the land effect will also be boosted. Do note, however, that leveling up requires a good amount of magic. You said this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Another gas cloud. Two chain. <clears throat> he can't do any damage. He doesn't have any weapons, Goblin. so... I'm gas good. Cloud. Plus gas cloud blocks half damage anyway. So he's only doing fifteen damage. He's dead. And I have the defense was too strong. I have uh this right here, so I'll go ahead and restore cure whatever HP he lost. Yeah, so Gulligan, much like a lot of characters, he's pretty he's pretty interesting because his his deck changes because you um you have to you'll fight him again uh, later on in the story. Well, I'll fight him again, and his deck changes, which that happens for quite a few characters in, 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 in this game. But I would have never knew his deck changed if not for you've got a reward coldsepcentral.com. Good luck to your next which journey. I would like to give a shout out to. You. They really uh, have some really extremely good information on the website, and uh, I really appreciate that website right there. Truly, the number one, the one-stop shop for all things Coldcept Central, or for, for all things Coldcept. Let's see. And, uh, okay, I want to level up. Maybe a land. Maybe a land right here. Land on it. Nope. Aim for the castle. One, two, three. But yeah, um, I I learned that he had he um that Reverend had multiple um uh books or whatever from Coldcept Central. Let's see real quick. I'll look it up. Oh boy, I probably, sh I probably shouldn't have did that, did that right there. But it's okay. This is great. I don't think he has any weapons. And even still, my 
Tiger Beetle has 60 HP, 30 from 30 HP on his own, and land effect 30, so 30, 30, 60. I'm gonna take Holy a chance here. One. Hopefully, I don't land on any or any of his territory. <laughs> so yeah, when you cast Holy World on someone, you've got a reward. If they have a movement card, good luck to like your next use, journey. Like if they have like a Holy Word three or something like that, they can kind of uh overwrite or override whatever you want to call it um, your spell, your movement spell. So I have one too. Good. So I don't have to land on this territory. Why? Beautiful. Aim for the castle. Two. Oh, you can you can acquire the land by winning a battle. If there is a up direction or an equal icon next to the card, the strength of your creature is equal to or above the HP of your foe. And give you a good chance of winning. However, if your opponent uses effect, magic, or items, there's a chance you may be defeated. Deciding whether to battle or not is up to you. Press the down direction, down on the directional buttons to enter the creature mode. Whew. I don't think he has any any armor. I think he does. 40 HP. The neat thing about this character is he can, you can combine him. See what says supportability. He uses creatures as weapons, so he has 30 strength. So whoever I combine him with, see his strength will be combined with his strength, or his strength. So I, I want to try using Woodfolk plus Minotaur to give me a 70. Uh, attack strength. Because I think the armor card he, he, the armor card I'm thinking he has, will give him an HP of plus thirty. So let me use Woodfolk along with Minotaur. Woodfolk, skeleton. And also, Woodfolk is also good for defending because, again, his HP can be combined with a. Uh, whatever <clears throat> with the HP of another card yeah he's using that right there he only gets plus 30 I think plus 20 yeah so I got I wonder why I did 90 the offense defeated I think what folks H uh, I think his I could be wrong but I, I, I think his strength is slightly determined by how many how many um, earth elements or earth territories that you own I believe so yes I'm passing all this territory so let's see here <coughs> let's see which deck Reverend is using. They want to get me home as slow as possible. Hello there. And he can't do nothing. So he'll pay the toll. Goblin. Gas cloud. Yep, that's what Logan said. If you can't defeat the character, you pay the toll. And you're gonna the pay the toll, buddy. Was too strong. Uh, how do I find the deck? Yikes.
AI decks. Here we go. The triangle button will allow you to view the map. The L1 button will change the display from total rates to HP. ST view. Okay, whatever. I've already explained that right there. AI decks. River and river and river. So I'm guessing the deck. Oh, not, not pick it. Hang on a second. Let's see here. HP, HP, HP. Perfect. Fairy only has 20 HP anyway. So. Magic bolt. Thing about HP is, <coughs> I guess you could say in a way, characters have two different HP levels. The HP level. Um. Whatever. In battle this character's HP will be increased by its land effect. Outside of battle, you know, just you know, on the map, whatever you want to call it, he has a particular HP level. So, yeah. Sometimes it's best to fight weaker, weaker enemies outside of battle rather than in battle. And that'll break his chain and lower his score somewhat. One. Oh my goodness, I landed on this territory. What is this? Oh, 72 soul. You can have it. I like that I can turn the music off mid battle rather than having to wait and go into uh, a special menu to lower the value, to lower the, uh, the battle music or game music, whatever. In order to not be charged at all, you have to defeat the opponent's creature. Thank you, Gulligan. Landing here. It's just a... Couldn't read it. Aim for the castle. Another thing you can also do is... Is a... Giant rat. <coughs> Giant rat. <laughs> you can have that right there. I wouldn't even bother defending that. I could, but... I want to save my armor for much... For, uh... My other territories. Take it. Rivering. So I'm guessing this is his. Riverin has actually. Wow. Defense defeated the One, enemy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven decks. So I'm guessing this is his always kill deck. There are a number of ways to keep your creatures from being defeated. Match the elements of your land and creature. I know. Try to use creatures with high HP. I know. Use the change command to switch weakened characters. I know. Use item cards for battle. Don't get down on yourself. And let's give it another shot. Some colored lamp. Hey, what do you, what do you mean colored? Uh, <coughs> leveling up turrets will increase the land value and its whole price. Okay, 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 okay. I need a weapon card. So. You've got a reward. Perfect. Good luck to Two, your next three. journey. I'll go ahead and take this territory. First attack. Hmm. About first attacks. Some creatures. Like this character has first attack. If you attack it, an enemy that's defending. That has first. If you attack an enemy that's defending that has first attack. Sorry. If an attacking creature with first attack attacks a creature with first attack, the attacker gets the advantage. <coughs> now there are some creatures like Harpy that have this special ability first attack even when defending. So if you attack with like a regular I don't know what I'm saying. Normally if I use one of these guys right here, if I were to use any character but this character, this creature would probably get the first attack. Because it has that skill. But if I attack with a creature that has first attack, I'll probably attack first. There are some creatures, I believe Lizard Man and Harpy, they have an ability called first attack, even on defense. So unless you're attacking with somebody that has first attack, when you go to attack, they will attack you first. It's complicated, especially when I'm explaining things. But uh oh well. <clears throat> but I believe I'll get the first attack. 
because I'm using a character to ask for attack. Dragon fly. And I forgot if he has any armor fly. or not. So let's find out. He has no armor. He has that ring, though. He has a he now if you if he were to use the an item defeated the enemy. If he were to use an item to let him attack first, I think he could have overrided my you know my first attack. So his chain's broken, my chain's increased. Let's see where you land. Odd oh, nuts. Cobalt. And this time I will Dragon defend. Fly. I will defend. I want to keep this territory right here. What does he get? 50. The battle was drawn. I'll get rid of one. I'll get rid of one. I can't talk. I'll get rid of one of these characters right here. Sometimes it's best to just <clears throat> place cards just for the heck of it. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next. You want to try to keep your hand. You want to try to keep your hand free. <clears throat> You know, like a uh, you want you want to try to save space in your hand. Feel free to use it when it, when necessary. You want to try to save space in your hand for at least a spell card, a armor card, and a weapon card. Especially if you have territory Shatter. that you want to keep. Like that right there, destroying that. You know, so when he if he tries to if he tries to invade one of my territories, that's one less bonus he'll have for Aim attacking. For the castle. Or one one less advantage you'll have. All right, I think I'll go ahead and level up. Level three. There we go. Wham! I am smoking this guy right now. One. Obtaining multiple lands with the same element will increase the value of the toll of each. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a long shot, but I'm gonna see if I can force him to land on my territory. One, two, three, four. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. One, one two, three, four. I'll save it. One, two. Okay, I'll put something here too. Another wolf. Discard your card. That card you just pulled makes it so if he were to use it, I can only roll between a one or a three. If you go here to info, it tells you who uh Certain info. Scepter. See, Reverend, he has one fire territory, two water territories, one earth, two winds. I have three fire territories. Just land info, really. <clears throat> How many lands you own and stuff like that. You've got a reward. One, Good luck two, to your three. next journey. Wow, this is crazy. Um. Uh, see, I should exchange him first for somebody that'll get a land bonus because this is a fire creature. He doesn't get a land bonus from Earth. But I want this leveled up. So I'm going to level it up first. Because I can either exchange. And that'll be, that'll be my turn. Or or I can um I can level it up. So I'll level it up first. When I get the chance, 
I will exchange that creature. And that could be pretty dangerous because I could lose hard. if I were to lose that territory in an attack. You know, that's that's Slow. that's territory he would have. That would increase his score. But let me give it a shot. Cause it is it isn't always a guarantee that it'll land on my territory. Skeleton. Unless Gas if you had cloud. if you had a magic bolt, you could chip away at some of the HP. I have no no money to defend. But I don't need it. You can't do much. And it would pay the two. The defense was too strong. Ooh. You're you're pretty good. I want to do something too. You can also change the message speed slow. I want I want to hear what they got to say. Let's put it on four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. I have some options here. <coughs> I could go to to the base real quick and exchange this character for this character, so we can get a land boost, and that would be sixty HP plus plus. 40 from the land, because that's level 4, so 10, 20, 30, 40. Or I can pass my territory. I own this rat right here. Oh, no, no, I don't. Never mind. I thought I owned the rat right here. <clears throat> See, if Riven was smart, if he was, maybe he will, he would move one of his creatures onto here. Because sometimes when you defeat an enemy, like if you use a magic bolt on some territory that's leveled up and you destroy the enemy, the land will stay leveled up. So it's kind of up for grabs. Whoever can get it will get a boost to their overall magic. So I don't know if he plans on doing that or not. He probably will. But since I don't own this rat right here, I'm going to roll a 6 and land on the base. And then I will exchange that wasp for the uh, the mountain. Holy word 6. Which is... He would stand a better chance in a, in a fight. <coughs> Aim for the castle. Now the mountain card, even though he can't use he can't use armor. Obviously. You can see it right there. Armor or scrolls. But later on in the game, I will probably unlock some uh some item cards. Aim for the castle. You can use item cards. Oh, you're paying the toll, buddy. You're not Cobalt. Dwarf. Just give it up. Oh, uh, yeah, 80 HP. I found it hard when I first played this game, and it still is kind of hard. Rem trying to memorize the defense whether or not your strong. enemy has uh, armor or weapon cards or not. Beautiful. Alright. Um If I were to level one of these up real quick. Like if I were to level Maybe my level one. That would increase my score. See I'm at four four thousand seven hundred right now. So if I level this thing up to maybe a four. That brings me to Five thousand. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. And of course, when your name is pulsating, see the number one next under my name. That means that if you, you know, that means you can just head on to the main base and win. Your total magic has reached the goal. Hurry back to the castle now. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold your horses. You've got a reward. There we go. You are the winner of this war. You've done it, Roland 7207. An outstanding victory. His power? No. It just. It's just that I held back too much. Roland 7207. Don't think that this was my true ability. I'll let you go this time. Later. Sure. Thank you so much. River wasn't as skilled as he claimed, was he? And now, I can continue my travels in search of scepters. No, wait! Aha! Roland 7207, your skills just now, and your powerful presence. You are without a doubt the scepter I have been searching for. Please help me. Only you can save the universe. Sure. The true winner is determined. Save replay data. No, that's okay. And of course, um, you earn cards. The neat thing about this game is, even if you lose a match, you still earn cards. But you have a better chance of earning new cards. Well, you, you have a better chance of earning new cards if you win. If you lose, you may still get new cards, but more than likely you'll get a bunch of the same cards, which is fine as well. I like having multiples. See, I got three maces here, and everything else I got one. Neat thing about the cards, if you press square, no, nope, triangle, Do movie, huh? it'll pronounce it for you. And if you press R1, it'll give you something, a little, a little info about the card. <clears throat> Fairy of the Fireplace has the power to protect the house and cast aside the places that the power proceeds to. This explains his ability. His ability is Territory 70, cast effects. They're basically spells, but they call it, the game calls them enchantments. Cast... Whatever that is. Blank effects of land. Oh, land protect. Cast effect of land protect to the target creature. What is land protect? Can utilize the territory command and cast spell effects. Land protect. Untargetable between. Untargetable between spell and territory ability. Okay. The manual also does a really good job at explaining these spells as well. Thank you for that. I'm the Magic Staff Goligan. Goligan is my name. I will join you in your travels. I'm so happy to meet you. I come from a world called Rus Rudo. I've come to Solteria by the order of Supreme God Cauldra. There will appear in this world a scepter who will attempt to gain control of the entire universe. This is what Cauldra predicted. That scepter's name is Gemini. He must be defeated before he stands among all scepters and can be and, and can declare his wish. You are the one who can do this. From now on, many scepters will seek you out to do battle. You must defeat them and attain many cards if you have to become a stronger scepter and defeat Gemini. If in your journeys your confidence is shaken, return to this place. I will always be there for you. Oh yes, the card you just obtained seems useful to you. Edit the book and put it in. Should I explain about editing the book? Uh, yeah, but I... When scepters do battle, they use a set of 50 cards. 
this set is called a book. Just a moment ago, I believe you used the 50 cards already in your book. You obtained the new card, so you can add it to your set. That is, you can edit the book. Editing your book simply means taking out weak cards from your book and putting in stronger cards. However, here in Concept, deciding which cards are weak or strong is not that simple. It is very important that you choose cards according to who your opponent is and discover which cards fit your strategies. That being said, let me personally give you some beginner's advice. In the beginning, creatures and items are crucial. If you obtain new creatures and items, exchange them with goblins and wolves. Do you understand about editing your book? Now? You can edit book just before you start a battle. If there's anything you don't understand, you can take a look at the online manual. Okay? I don't know what Gemini currently is. You should probably start your search. Hone your abilities during your travels. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's make a save. Shall we? If you go to maintenance, well, to edit your book, you can go to uh, edit book. But maintenance is good as well. Yeah, so I guess the background music that's only affected. Um, background music, I guess only counts for during battle. When you're in the over map, the music can't be turned off, I guess. System sounds. No, not that. Oh, that was like edit book. Not that. Maintenance. You can so you, that's where you earn your medals at, or where, you, where your medals go when you earn them. Um, gallery? This is a... Uh, yeah, you earn certain images throughout the game. <coughs> or on certain key events. Whatever. AI. My favorite. Not my favorite, but you can create your own AI. You can't control them, I don't think. But you can use them in versus mode. What is the mode I'll get into later on? We'll talk about that. And you can create your guy, your character. You can um, give them certain uh, books. I mean, you, you can create their books and all kinds of stuff. You can name them. We'll get to that later on. Edit book. go to new, you can press R1 to get rid of this menu right here. And it shows you the new cards you've unlocked, just in case you forgot. R1 again. Where it says book settings. That's like a summary of your deck. So you have uh, five fire card uh, creatures, five earth creatures, five weapon creatures. That's all right there. Four neutral creatures and no water creatures I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, no water creatures. We'll talk more about book editing uh, or deck editing, whatever you want to call it in another video. That, that's it for now. I'm going to try to make each, let's go, uh, maintenance, let's go here, yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to try to make each battle its own video, but uh, we'll see, we'll see, so that's it for now. See you in the next video.